Well, guess what, everybody? It's Saturday, and I'm back from the flea market. And I got some silver. That's astounding. What I bought was, let's see, uh, 49 ounces of .925 sterling. The amount was $670.81, and I paid $700. And you'll see why. And there's two interesting things about this. Not just simply the fact that these are nice, these, 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 these are nice, interesting historic sets. Now, the title of which is Great Historic Sites of America, the Franklin Mint. Now, what they did was they take a site, oh, my loops. They take a site like this, and then, and then uh, they give you interesting facts about it, and then they postmark from there. Uh oh! Now you see the stamp, 1976 cents. Oh man! If I bought a ton of them. If they were forever stamps, huh? And it just goes on. There's 49 of them, as we said. And they postmark it from where where the event took place. And they're all just different historic things. Um, just, just flip through a page, pages. There's 50 of them, or 40, 49 of them. I'm sure there was a lot more because there's some empty pages in the back. Now, look at this. Eight cents. So, within a month, the stamp went from six cents to eight cents. Now we do a two cent rise now in stamps. And everybody freaks out. Well, this was even though this was only a two cent rise, it was a thirty three and a third percent rise in the price of a one ounce of shipping one ounce uh, first class in the, in the American uh, mail. So, but anyway, there's, uh, yeah, I'm using 49 of them, all postmarked from all over the country, wherever the event is that they're, that they're featuring, and they make, I mean, who wouldn't want to teach their kid history using something like this? So there's the first, the first one. Here, yeah, helps everybody be seasick by the time they get done this, and then this goes on to the second one. But let me read you, see if I can read some of these titles. Oh, chimney, chimney rock. Oh. Virginia City, and then of course it's postmarked Virginia City. But what a great way to collect silver, which is certainly worth more than spot because of this historic nature, and have this way of teaching history. You could sit there with your kid on your lap and and uh, go through the pages, and then there's a the whole story that goes with it. And then on the back of the coin, there's a story also. So, anyway, I was glad to find something for a change. It's been uh, it's been so long since we've really since I picked up any sets at all. But I thought these were interesting and and certainly worth more than a couple of cents over spot. So, like, I really need another forty nine ounces of silver, but. 
And I got a degree in history, one of my one of my degrees. I find this stuff very interesting. And and as I said, whoever gets this, I hope they they have their kids or their grandkids uh, sit down with them and go over it. And there are a couple of foods. They make a couple of big volumes. You can see the difference between and they're and they're fairly heavy. But anyway, that's the flea market for today. And I haven't the said Tom hasn't had any. He was he was shocked that he that he had these. As soon as I come up, he says, I've got something for you. I said, Great, let's see it. Break it on out. So mine is uh new me king. Uh, I might see you on the chats tonight. Take care everybody and uh, please leave a comment.